Let's dive into schedules with Dashboard so you can enjoy the set it and forget it convenience with these three different features. Supported with Dashboard OS, the sleep schedule for your display lets you set the days and time your display turns on and off. If you don't have it, a link found in the description will show you how to flash Dashboard software to an SD card at home. Screen schedules allow you to choose which screens are displayed at specific times. And content scheduling lets you determine when specific content blocks within a screen are visible. In today's Dashboard tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps of setting up each of these features. Let's get started with device sleep scheduling. Please note that on-off schedules are compatible with most modern TVs and monitors that support HDMI and CEC technology. If you're unsure about your personal monitor's capabilities, follow the link in the description to check. Now, to set your sleep schedule, start in your Dashboard account, go to Displays and Devices, click the three dots next to the display you're using, and select Settings. In the pop-up window, scroll to the bottom and click View Device Settings for your Dashboard OS device. Again, it's important to note this option is only available on Dashboard OS devices. Scroll down to the screen section and find the on-off sleep schedule. Now set the desired days and times for your display to turn on and off. Pay attention here as some people may confuse the off time with the on time. So make sure you enter the correct on off times in the corresponding sections. Once you've made the changes, save your settings and that's it. Your sleep schedule is now set and ready to go. Screen schedule. For Plus or Pro subscribers, screen scheduling allows you to assign specific screens to be shown on your display at designated times. This is useful, for example, if you want to switch between work-related and home-related screens while working from home. To set up a screen schedule, start by going to the Schedules tab on the left side of your Dashboard account page and click Add Schedule. Choose a name for your schedule and select a screen or loop from the menu found here on the right of the Add Schedule screen. Click on the pencil icon next to the screen you want to schedule and set the desired days and times for it to be shown. If you want the same screen to appear at different times or on different days, you can add it again to the schedule and select those additional times. When you are done setting up your desired schedule, click Save. Next, go to the Displays and Devices tab and click the icon under the Assigned column in the middle. Select the Schedules tab at the top, choose your schedule for the display, and click Save. Your screen schedule is now set. To remove your screen schedule, simply go to your Schedules page, click the three dots on the bottom right of the schedule, and select Delete. Similar to this, you can also loop screens on a schedule, designating the transition speed and duration you want each screen visible. Content Scheduling You can easily schedule content blocks on your custom screen to appear and disappear at specific days and times. Just head over to the Schedule tab in the Block Settings. Select the desired days and times for the block to appear and click Save. It's really that simple. If you want to take it a step further, you can set multiple schedules on a single block. For example, let's say I want my weather block to be visible on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays all day, as well as on the weekends from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. This allows you to be precise about when you want the block to show up now, if you want to reset the block to show all day every day, it's just a couple of clicks away. Simply delete any additional schedules beyond the first by clicking the minus symbol on the right. Press the recycle icon to reset the block to the default settings. And don't forget to save your changes. And that's it! You've learned how to master Dashboard's scheduling features. Check out Dashboard's support page and Reddit board. You can find lots of helpful articles and insight from other users like you. Don't forget to follow us.